Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How can I use the WebSphere command line scripts without passing the credentials every time? For example, some of the scripts this procedure can be used for are stop server, stop node, stop manager, backup config, restore config, sync node, server status, WS admin, cleanup node, add node. Open a command prompt. Type stop server dot bat server one dash con type soap. Notice that when stopping the server, WebSphere will prompt for credentials. Open the properties folder of your profile. Open the soap.client.profs file in a text editor. Look for the two entries, com.ibm.soap.loginuserid, com.ibm.soap.loginpassword. Type your username with the appropriate role. Type the password. Save the changes. If you are using RMI as your connector type, the sas.client.props needs to be updated. You do not need to do this step if using default connector SOAP. Open with a text editor. Look for the two entries com.ibm.corba.login user ID, com.ibm.corba.login password. Type your user credentials. Save the changes. Open a command prompt. Type stop server bat server one dash con type soap. Notice the server did not ask for credentials. It used the credentials in soap.client.props or sas.client.props depending on the con type used. Finally, the password needs to be encoded. Go to the bin directory of your profile. Scroll down to prop file password encoder .bat or .sh. For example, to encode the passwords for properties in the soap.client.props file for the default standalone application server profile, enter the following command. Prop file password encoder dash profile name app server 01 profile underscore root slash property slash soap dot client dot props com dot ibm dot soap dot login password. After following this procedure, the user will no longer be prompted for credentials by WebSphere every time a client script is used. For more information about the parameters that can be used, please visit our Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.